This video is made available by the Allegheny College Computer Science Department under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivative Works Version 3.0 license. Here we are on page 50 and 51 of Data Structures and Algorithms in Java. So in the previous video we went ahead and implemented the toString method. Now what we're going to do is dive into the play method. First thing I'm going to do is uh, import the scanner class so that way I can make this line a little bit shorter. So public static final scanner input is a new scanner and it reads from the system wide input. We only want one of those so we make it final. And the next step is that I'm going to have some constants to represent the players. Because there's only two players, uh, Peter goes ahead and takes advantage of this fact by using uh, booleans to represent the players instead of integers. So he's going to have the horizontal player be false and the vertical player be true. Uh, and that eh, it cleans up a few things in the game logic. So we can say that uh, pr the horizontal player is a boolean, and we'll just represent that, uh, just give it the value false. And the vertical player is true. We're not recording any information about these players. We don't need to store any names or any data, so we might as well just make them a constant. So I'll come down here and alphabetically I'll slip a new method in and that's going to be play. It doesn't return anything, so its return type is void. Now the first thing that, uh, that happens in here is the local variable player is declared and it's set to horizontal. So the horizontal player gets to go first. That's what that means. And then an infinite loop, while true, never exits. That is an infinite loop. Now in Java you're able to break out of these infinite loops. So that's what's going to happen. A return statement will be used to bail out, if you will, of that infinite loop. So First things first, system.out.println, println, a new line followed by this. Now remember, if we put an object in a print statement, its toString method gets called. So this is a shortcut for causing the toString method to get called. Next, we say if this is the horizontal player, we're going to print a message out for them and say it's horizontal's turn to play. I think my headset makes a lot of noise. Now that I mention it, you're probably going to notice it. Yeah, this is a little clicking and clacking noises. Sorry about that. If it's not the horizontal player's turn, then we'll say it's vertical's turn. And that's just so the feeble humans who are playing this game know who is supposed to do what. Feeble humans would mean you. So if the current player does not have a legal move. All right, so has legal move returns true or false, the not is the exclamation point, so if there is not a legal move, then we're just going to say there's no legal moves. You lose. If you can't play, you must have lost. It's too bad for you. It's part of being a feeble human. You'll have to get used to it. So that return statement gets us out of the while loop. I'm not sure how I feel about this exactly. I suspect it's a relatively common thing in logic like this in Java. So the next thing is we're going to print a prompt and then read in an integer. And we'll store the result of reading in that integer in a variable called row. Next we'll prompt for the column that you want to play at. And we'll store the result of reading in an integer into a variable called column. Once we've done that, we can actually play a domino to that location. So we'll play at that row, that column, and for that particular player. The last thing we do is we set player equal to not player. Whoa! I'm going to let you think about that. I'll tell you that it's how we switch players, but you're going to have to convince yourself that that works. Now when I compile, of course, we haven't written the has legal move for method, nor have we written the play at method. So, truth though, we can uncomment this line, but we still need to write that method before everything will work. So that, I think, is going to be part of our next video, if not the video after. 
very, very exciting.